Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and today we're going to have a fun tutorial on working with our cracking size and crystal clear crackle. I've got a couple of projects I'm going to show you the process on so let's get started. Okay guys, I have found a couple of projects that we're going to go ahead and apply the crackle to. That way you can see it over a foil finish as well as just a um, paint it molding. Our cracking system, okay, using the crystal clear crackle is a two-part system, which means we have to put our cracking size down first and then we apply the crystal clear crackle. So the first thing we're going to do is just go ahead and open this jar. The product just looks milky white. It's thin, okay, so it's not super thick material. And we're just going to go ahead and brush it onto the surface. You want to make sure you have 100% coverage. And it doesn't need to be thick. You just want full coverage. This product is best if you let it sit for a couple of hours before you put the cracking or the crystal clear crackle over the top, okay? So apply this on and set a timer if you have to, okay? <laughs> it's okay if it goes over a couple of hours, but you wanna let it dry for at least a couple of hours. Okay, I'm gonna let that one sit and then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're just gonna go ahead and apply full coverage on this metal vase. And I think it's just so cool to show you the process on a couple of different surfaces so you can see how the crystal clear crackle can look over foil as well over just a painted surface. So make sure you have 100% coverage. You don't need to put it on thick. Just a nice, thin, even coat will be perfect. Okay, I'm just double checking, making sure that I don't have it thick somewhere. I always critique my work. Okay, let's go ahead and just let both of these sit for a few hours and we'll be back for the next layer. Okay, once your cracking size is completely dry, and like I said, give it a couple hours, we are now going to go to our crystal clear crackle, which is our second layer of the process and this one is exactly what it says it is crystal clear it is going to dry completely transparent so it's wonderful to use over foils you could use it over decoupage all the different beautiful um, paper transfers that are out right now um, you can use it over all of those and create a beautiful aged cracked finished okay so because it is completely clear once it dries, I always like to come back and enhance it. So sometimes I've left it where you just have the crackle finish. Most of the time I'm going to come back over and do what I call an overglaze and um, enhance the crackle finish even more. Okay, so the crystal clear crackle is a little bit thicker medium, um, kind of feels almost like a gel and you want to make sure that you are spreading it out so it's not too thick. The product can actually sag a little bit, so you wanna make sure that you're keeping on a nice um, even layer, but just don't put it too thick on something that is gonna to have to dry in a vertical application. Like this is a round container, there's no other way to let it dry other than stand it back up. Um, and we don't want the product to um, sag. So don't get it on too heavy. Now the piece of molding that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably let it sit on there a little bit thicker because that will be drying horizontal. We can go for some bigger cracks. So uh, just a little bit about this product, just backing up for a second. If you are wanting to create the biggest cracks that you can, meaning that you're gonna have these big islands separate it, you can control it a little bit with your cracking size. 
So let's say you're working on this product project right here, where we know we have to let this dry vertical uh, because of its shape. Um, I could have put the cracking size on with two layers, okay? So put on a layer, let it dry, put on a second layer, let it dry, and then that will also help to create bigger cracks because you can only put the product on so thick being that it's going to dry vertical, okay? So that's the application. If I just want to check it a little bit as I'm going and making sure that it's not too thick in any spot or look or appear that it's going to start to sag down. So I'm going to put that aside for a second. And then on our molding sample, I am going to go thicker, okay? So we're going to put full coverage on here and then allow it to sit in a few areas a little bit thicker. So that way, in the end of this video, you'll be able to see that you can definitely control to some degree, okay, not complete control, but to some degree with the number of layers of cracking size that you apply or how thick that you put on the crystal clear crackle, that you can control your crack size a little bit, okay? Now where it's sitting here down into this lower spot of the molding, it'll probably get a little bit thicker in there and normally that's where you're gonna get some bigger cracks as well. But I'm gonna try and variegate my application a little bit here on the smooth area as well, trying to allow some areas to be a little bit heavier. Now, this product does take a little bit to dry, so just put it someplace safe and allow it to do its thing. For full cracking, I wanna say it's gonna take probably a good 30 minutes to maybe an hour and a half, depending on the weather, how warm it's or cool it is. So just be patient, okay? I definitely have this where I have some areas thinner and some areas thicker, so we should have um, big and small cracks. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial on working with our Crackle products. You will find a complete list of all materials and supplies in the description below, and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials.